officially in Moab. This is our second time ever here. We were here a few summers ago, middle of summer, and it was stupid hot. We rock climbed for like a half an hour and then we were just over it, so we left. But yeah, this is the opposite, it's cold. Today hasn't been above freezing and tonight is gonna get back down to around, I think it's about 18 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna camp right here. Got a nice little sandy fire pit area for Maru to explore and yeah, see how she likes Moab. For many years now, Sadie and I have dreamed of getting a puppy of our own, but the time just hasn't felt right. We didn't think we could put the time into training one to make it the awesome adventure dog that we wanted it to be. And that was true up until last week when we finally decided the time was right and Sadie already had her eye on a puppy down in Salt Lake City. So we loaded the truck for some camping. I had a little vacation time and we cruised down south to meet our new puppy. Ready for an appetizer? Yeah. Asparagus. Mm -hmm. So good. And diverse potatoes. Well, thank you. It might be really hot. Mm. She's like, I smell something. So good. All right. Oh boy, this thing isn't even gonna fit on a plate. Look at that. <laughs> Got a little ice on the inside there. Wow. <laughs> what do you think, Maru? What do you think? After a couple days together, we were starting to fall in love with our new puppy, and we had settled on the name Maru, which is the name of a Himalayan peak, and I was first introduced to it in a film by Jimmy Chin on an epic climbing adventure that was absolutely brutal. And I've thought about it a lot since then, and it's inspired me. So I thought it was a cool name, and it also has a meaning in Finnish that is yeah. small yeah. or tiny um, or darling, yeah. and since she is a little retriever oh, and yeah. the runt of her litter. I thought it was fitting. Oh yeah. Oh no, no bite, no bite. Hey, no, I'm not your toy.
Well, because we are working people, we had to go down to town and work at a coffee shop for a little bit so Sadie can take care of some things. And now we are heading up to do a little mountain biking. This trail is absolutely gorgeous. It is unlike anything I've ever ridden before. Just solid rock, like little bits of dirt. There's been some puddles and some ice and spots that have caught me off guard, but fortunately haven't fallen completely yet. And yeah, it's also a little more taxing than I expected. It's only like an 11 mile loop. I figured it'd just be a, a quick, quick ride. It's taking a little longer than expected, but that's okay. Beautiful. Actually, it's warmed up a bit. It's probably, you know, still low 30s, but feels super nice compared to what it was last night. Ten miles, almost eleven miles, twenty two hundred feet again. There it is, my first ever Moab mountain biking. That was so different. That took me so long. Just because I was, you know, getting footy for you guys and just very punchy. Cool trail though. Said you went for a hike and then brought Maru back here for a little nap. And then she went out for a little more of a hike. Let's see if she's sleeping. Oh, hey. How are you? <laughs> You're looking mighty comfortable in here. Uh-huh. You just want scratches? Uh-huh. Wild game. Some elk. Fresh. Off the mountain, about a month ago. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here, let me pick you up like some food just stuff. as much as you got, huh? All right, well, we got some riding in and we decided that we're gonna cheat tonight. Um, I haven't slept super well the last couple of nights because I keep waking up trying to make sure that the puppy's not cold and all that and it has been downright chilly. So tonight we decided to get this little cabin and we're pumped to use it because it's got a heater inside and I think that Maru is really gonna like it. Alright, this is home for the night. See? Sorry, you know it because it has my initials. Oh, 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 it ain't fancy, but it sure is warm. What do you think, Maru? Want to explore? Oh, you like it outside better? <laughs> uh, for about 10 minutes until she gets cold. Nice. Yeah, let's go. You like the cabin? Nice. Doing another steak tonight. Last night I forgot to thaw it out, and so it was partially frozen when we put it on, which made the cooking a little bit challenging. Tonight we got this bad boy. It's been on the dash for the last hour, so it should be about room temperature by the time we go to cook it. Go get it. Good girl. Good job. Dutch oven, get it preheating. A little truffle olive oil. Oh yeah.
I'm digging this. I normally don't do a lot of intricate camp meals just because I'm always trying to just, you know, make the activities the priority and not spend a lot of time doing this, but on cold trips like this, this is nice. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Mushrooms are looking good. That's good. Okay, ready to go to bed? Time for a snack? That is a lot harder than just a standard flat trail. Lots of rocks up and down, but say you made it. Maru was nice and sleepy when we got back. I'm chowing down on some more baguette French bread and Tillamook cheese and elk sausage. Sadie. Okay, let's go. Let's go find Sadie. Our final couple days in Moab were spent exploring around the area, getting some more turns on the pedals, as well as trying out the new suspension and tires on the truck that we recently put on, which they turned out really good. And along the way, we just wanted to give Maru some more time to get used to us and our lifestyle because we've got a lot more of this coming her way. Ooh, you want to meet a cow? Ooh. You guys are the same Ooh. color. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> She's giving me such a look. 